we wanted our relationship to be broad-based. That, that yes, we would ask for money occasionally, but we wanted to just communicate some time without asking for anything. And we certainly wanted people to volunteer. And so eventually, obviously, the grassroots did fund our campaign. We raised $750 million, uh, and $500 million of that came online. Four million people gave us money, average contribution, $85. Top two categories of donors, not lobbyists, not lawyers, not even business people, retirees and students. Uh, remarkable thing to see. Uh, people giving $5, 10 $25, it was hard to get. And the money mattered. I had actually met someone at the reception earlier who said they gave money because of a video we sent out where I talked about our Florida budget. As just one example, some of you guys might remember this. We said, hey, we're asking you guys for all this time and all this money. We want to show one state so you understand. And here's our Florida budget. And here's what we're spending the money on. The real budget, by the way. And it was one of the best things we did because people felt, okay, I understand I'm not giving money to a black hole. These guys really think they need $38 million to win Florida. And here's how they're spending their money. Now, most of the really, really important organizing activity in battleground states was done offline. But the organizing for those activities was done online. And many people uh, got all of their information online. And there's a phenomenon out there. We all do this in our lives, right? We see a YouTube video we like or a news story we like. We email it to our friends and family members. That's what was happening in the election, right? You had this guerrilla kind of email campaign going on. You know, Barack Obama doesn't salute the American flag or Barack Obama's this or Barack Obama's that. And we had to arm our supporters with the ability to, to defend that, which is why we started a, kite, a site called fightthesmears.com so people could respond to that. And, you know, it's interesting in politics. There used to be an adage saying, well, if someone's attacked you or there's something in the ether, but it hasn't led the news or been on the front page of the paper, you should not acknowledge it because you don't want to elevate it. Well, that's kind of a 1960s mentality because it may not be on the news, but it can be in 50 million people's email boxes by the end of the day. So you better deal with it because that's how politics works these days. And so many of people get their information that way, not from the news. And this is only going to explode more. It's not going to be in the too distant future. I don't think it's 12. It could be 16. It could be 20. But what we did in the campaign, sending emails to people that they watched on their computers or their laptops is going to seem like Jurassic Park because almost everybody is going to be watching videos and doing their emails on personal devices.